and surrounding areas, taxi commuters wake to the absence of transport, blocked roads by minibus operators, protesting against the escalating buying price of the Toyota Quantum bus, which is currently locally produced at 450,000 rand before interest. We interview Jabulani Mazibugo, the chairman of the KZN Taxi Alliance. So some views from inconvenienced and highly disturbed motorists. Right now, we can't even go to school and we can't even find transport to go to school. And we're to test and exams now. The time is getting hard. I still manage to test and it's still bad. So yeah, it is really because our parents exactly the sense of school today and they don't know if you're okay or not. So it's really a tough time for us to like go to school and to come back. Uh, in the morning they made us jump up in the Mobini Heights. They took us all out of the taxi. All right. Then someone gave us a lift to come to town. The town is so quiet, there's no sh shops, no workers, no nothing, everything is bad. They're saying that you, whenever you buy a taxi again, you must pay one million rand. We are very affected with the strike. The workers did not arrive at work at time. Our opening hours are very uh, affected. We don't have any customers because there are no people walking around. And I had to hire a cab to come to work, which I had to pay about 70 rand. That's a very big loss. Taxi drivers, it will be fair if you guys are planning on something. You inform us in time. Because I did not know that there's going to be a strike. I only heard it in the morning. So it's really such an inconvenience for uh, people like us in business. Because we, we have plans, we have got priorities, we've got staff that's helping us to run the shops and everything.